Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to Sage Line 50. In this short podcast, we're going to look at reports from sales, purchases, and returns daybooks. So let's start with our suppliers. And we will go down to our reports. And a screen opens up with the reports. And we're looking for daybook reports. And here we are, daybook reports. And you can see that we have quite a large number of reports. We're not going to go through each of these. We're just going to take some examples. So we'll start with <coughs> invoices that have been paid. And this is in detail. Again, we do the preview. Always advisable to preview before you attempt to print anything. We'll take all of these. And we can see that we have a detailed report of all the invoices that have been paid. And it shows us the amount that has been paid so far in this period. That's a detailed report. If we look at a summary report, we click on Summary and click on Preview. Again, we'll look at everyone. And here we have the summary report giving the account references for each of our suppliers. Now then, what we can do is also look at the credits, in other words, the credit notes that have been issued to us, these are suppliers. So we'll look at a detailed report of those. We'll again look at everything. And you can see we have received three credit notes from suppliers. And of course, a reminder, we can either print these by going directly to the print icon at this point, or we can export them and save them as PDF files, in which case we click on export. And if you look here, we can see you've got other choices. You don't necessarily have to have PDF files. In some cases, it might be more convenient to send them <coughs> to a spreadsheet, in which case you would use an Excel file. We'll just close that. I'm going to close that as well. So those then are our reports for invoices and credits. You can take another one and then we'll finish it. This is the supplier's invoice detailed. Right, these are not just the paid ones, so we will preview that one. Again, we will look at all of them. And here we have the opening balances for each supplier and the invoices that we've received. Suppose, of course, that we didn't want to take all of them, but when we would go to our supplier invoices again, and we would just pick out, say, a particular supplier, let's just pick Noble Growth, and we'll say OK. And now this just gives us the information about opening balances and invoices from Noble Growth. So those are our daybooks associated with our suppliers. How about our daybooks associated with customers? Here are our customers screens, so we look for reports. And again, we'll search through for daybook reports. And we can have customer invoices, which we will detail and preview. Again, we can select everyone. And here are all the invoices that we send out to customers. We could print these, or we could export them, or we could email them. Let's just close that. We can just look at the credits that we've sent out. Uh, let's just see if there are any credits to any particular so, uh, customer. We'll look at the uh, at credits to the Parks Department. So OK, and yes, we have sent one credit note to the Parks Department for 1800 plus VAT for sheds that were damaged. So those are our reports for our sales, purchases, daybooks for both invoices and for the returns or the credit notes. Thank you.